Hey folks, Todd Colburn here. And this little video is on Christianity. Plain, simple, short, sweet. If you ever under, wondered what Christianity is all about, I'm going to give it to you in one word. Jesus. The Bible teaches that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, is himself completely God, and has been raised up all over all rule and authority by God the Father. Folks who call themselves as Christians recognize this fact and have surrendered their lives to him. By definition, the word Christ is Jesus, means Messiah in the Greek. Jesus Christ is the Son of God who emptied himself of his Godhead to become a man, to live a sinless life, to die on the cross, to pay for our sins. All who place their faith in him and accept his death, blood, burial, and resurrection as payment for their sins and promise to worship him alone, they're Christians. The word Christian was first applied to Christians at Antioch, the Jesus followers, the Christ followers. You see, Jesus is the name of the Son of God, who is himself completely God. And he is the Messiah, the Hebrew promised one. And in Greek, that same word Messiah is Christ, the Savior, the coming one who will save us all. So they called the Christians in Antioch, they called them Christians because they were trying to mock them because they were all following Christ. And those of us who place our faith in Jesus Christ are also Christians by definition. A lot of folks, mankind tends to mess up whatever God says. They can read his word and still mess it up interpreting it. But at least they start with God's word. Whether you have great doctrine or weak doctrine, the one deciding factor on whether you will be accepted by God Almighty after this life, is whether or not you've placed your faith in Jesus. Regardless of how much you claim to love God, if you have denied his son, the one that he sent to pay for your sins and who died for you at God's request, if you reject that son of God, God will absolutely reject you, as it says in Scripture. If you believe that you want to have a relationship with God, the Father, God Almighty, you need to surrender to God, the Son, Jesus Christ, because God, the Father, has placed all rule and power and authority to him. The Bible teaches that all things were made through him and for him. All rural, rulers, powers, and authorities, all creation. This is a statement beyond Godhead. Unless you surrender to Jesus Christ, you will be rejected by God for all eternity. But everyone who surrenders to Jesus Christ will be accepted by God and welcomed into the family. What a gift. It's not about how good you are. It's not about how coming better or becoming more pure or acting better. These are all good things and these are things that are pleasing to God. It's all about surrender to God through Jesus Christ. This is what defines whether you're a Christian or not. Now, there are good Christians, bad Christians, those of gold, silver, bronze. As in anything, there are people who are barely on the fringes and people who've done a pretty good job. But the deciding factor is whether you surrender to Jesus Christ. Surrender today. Welcome to the family. Get yourself a Bible and read it. That is the beginning of wisdom.